Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Welcome to the River City 2000 and Beyond, a program from Queensland about Australia and you, the people of Australia. Today, we're very thrilled indeed because we will be chatting with the Premier of Queensland, the Honourable Peter Beattie. It's always the same. Find an opportunity, talk to the company, work out exactly what they're looking for, tee up an interview. Do you know what happens then? Someone else gets the job. Great, isn't it? If you're looking for a job, talk to the people who've been finding jobs for over a hundred years. Today I'm Jimmy Barnes and uh, I've been asked to come and talk to you about the salvos. Uh, which when I was asked, it was a pleasure to do because as a, as a young child, I grew up with the salvos really, um, you know, in Scotland and in Australia. I was, uh, I remember the salvos being not only a, 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 a form of, you know, of religion for us and, and, and help and strength. Uh, they were just very supportive and a lot of fun and, and it was part of our lives. We, you know, I, for one, I was a member of the band. I grew up, uh, I was playing cornet in the Salvation Army Band for a long time. I think that's one of the reasons I got my good lungs. And uh, they were always just, you know, very supportive and, and great people to be around. And so, obviously, when they asked me to come and, and uh, have a talk to you about them, I jumped at the opportunity. You know, I think they're a great, a great organisation. They do great work. And I think if you can do anything to help, get out there and do it. You know, the media attacks politicians quite often, and sometimes so does the public. But you know, in the whole, they're very good men who are very dedicated and work very hard for us. Sometimes, one vote, it can make all the difference. It is with great pleasure now that I present to you the Premier of Queensland, the Honourable Peter Beatty. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Absolutely delighted. And that one vote is important, isn't it? Well, it sure is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be Premier without it. <laughs> That's right. Uh, what I wanted to first of all ask you is what do you believe is the most important issue facing Queensland today? Well, I think it's jobs and job generation, job insecurity, those sorts of issues. Plus, a blending of education and health. Now, you may think they're an interesting combination, but we have problems in our workforce skilling it up. So we need to have the best education, best training, best opportunities through apprenticeships, and out of that, people have an opportunity for jobs. When it comes to health, again, it's a quality of life issue, but if people are enjoying themselves in the workforce, they are happy about where they are in the world, it also improves their health. It does, it makes a big difference, doesn't it? Mm. Uh, what about Australia? Do you think there are different issues facing Australia? I think they're about the same. Clearly jobs is the central issue, and it, it, it's because we actually judge ourselves as people on what we do, and that's linked to who we are. It relates to our self-esteem, how we feel about ourselves, our family, the people around us. And I don't always mean full-time work. Of course, I'm about full-time jobs, paid jobs. Yes. But home duties, that's an important job. It's central to the well-being of family and the community. But also volunteers. A lot of people forget that our senior citizens provide hundreds of thousands of man hours, woman hours, in community service without any pay. Now, if we were to pay those volunteers, we'd go broke yes. as a government. So when I talk about work, it's a broad thing. It's about feeling wanted, about being important. And that's why when we have the high levels of unemployment, they are a disincentive to a healthy society and they do create difficulties. That's why they're the big issues that have to be solved, jobs and job security. Yes, a person's self-esteem, it's very important. Uh, I've, I've seen that, especially as, as I'm involved with unemployment through the Salvation Army, yes. so it is very important. Yeah. Uh, we've just had a federal election yes. and no doubt we just have that. to ask you <laughs> and no doubt we have to ask you for some comment. Well, I'm obviously disappointed with the outcome, but what I think it has said is that there is still some disenchantment with the major parties and that means they both need to lift their game, including mine. 
But it also raises issues about where we go to the future. I do have concerns about the goods and services tax. I don't want to live, relive the election, but again, when we talk about jobs, it'll have an impact on tourism here. But from our point of view, look, the government's been re-elected. I will work with them. My responsibility is to advance Queensland. I will do that regardless of who governs in Canberra. I'll be through their door demanding the best for this, st this state. I'll work with John Howard and I'll work with his government. We'll have our differences, but I'll work with them because I want to advance this state and the people in it.